morning everyone. Welcome to Marky Big Smoke. Thanks for joining me. Really appreciate it. And uh, today, I had an epiphany last night. I don't know how good an epiphany it was, but anyway. What we're going to be doing is planting these broad beans between the two rows of main crop potatoes. I suddenly had a thought when I was looking through how to plant potatoes on the internet. It says you must give them some nitrogen feed in the first few weeks. Well, then I looked up, well, what's a natural form of nitrogen? And I found that beans, broad beans, have got some nitrogen in them. They're nitrogen fixing plants. And I don't know whether this is gonna work. I don't know whether it's gonna to be too crowded in this bed, but I'm hoping these broad beans, so between this two rows of main crop, will feed some nitrogen to the potatoes without me putting any extra nutrients on. But uh, anyway, it's a way for me to use up me broad beans because I haven't got enough space anywhere else on the plot. Uh, I've got over enthusiastic in the sowing. So let's get them in and then uh, I'll see what I do about ground cover uh, and so on. But let's get them in and see how they get on. So I've marked out the center line along this bed and I'm going to plant, I've got enough room to plant two rows of broad beans I think. So they'll be a little bit close together. I'm going to use the trusty bulb planter. This is Broad Bean Bunyard Exhibition. Because I'm going to do an exhibition afterwards. <laughs> I know broad beans like a long root, so that's why I got this. Oh my word, look at that. I don't know if you can see that, but look at that root system there. It actually works, guys. This one I'm going to leave in a bit longer. But look at that. It actually works. Can't believe it. Here we go. I'm going to put it in deeper than what it was in there. And then I'm going to cover it. There you go. So it's got lots of support there. Two rows of 13, that's 26 holes dug with the bulb planter. Now I'm just going to pop those broad bean seedlings in to the hole and cover them in. Planting them quite a lot deeper than they were there in the trays. But I think that will help support them. These really are good. I mean, that is a lovely strong root system. Okay, it wanted to go down further, but that should sort itself out. Nice and easy now I've dug those holes. Give them a little push down and that should see them through. I'm going to give them a water, a good watering and they should pick up and stand up on their own. Right, I'll bring you back when they're all in. That's 26 broad bean plants in and uh, just going to give them a good water and then within a couple of days there should be strengthening themselves up a bit. I'm not gonna put any supports in for those, but there was a very good root system on those broad beans. Those long root trainers, whatever they call them, are absolutely brilliant. And it does work. So that's the long root training system. Just to show you, it does actually work. So, first time I've ever used those, I think that was a good investment. A nice strong root system on there. By the time the main crop potatoes come up, the broad beans will be ready to crop and harvest. I'm not sure if I planted too much in there too close together, but there's only one way to find out, guys. And you're thinking, how is he gonna earth those up? I know you are. Well, I'm not going to. 
I planted the main crop of potatoes five inches down, maybe six. I'm just gonna give these broad beans a chance to establish themselves and then I'm gonna cover the top of this bed with straw that I've had left over on the site. I'm gonna cover it with straw and allow the, the straw to hopefully keep the soil warm, stop any weeds growing and establishing and then cover in any um, potato shoots that come through before the last frost. It's all a big experiment, guys. Now, I've not, I'm not gonna put any broad beans over there on the first earlies and second earlies. I'm just gonna see how they do. Okay, I haven't got any main crop to compare, but I've got first earlies and second earlies. I'm not putting any feed in there, no nitrogen, no uh, organic feed or anything at this stage. I'm just gonna leave them in that soil as it was dug on this plot. So that's my nitrogen fixing experiment, broad beans in the middle of main crop potato beds. So I've also decided in my infinite stupid wisdom, I'm gonna try to plant some nasturtiums between the broad beans. One for a bit of ground cover and two to try and stop the black fly going on the broad beans but rather to attract them to the nasturtiums. So I hope you can hear this because I haven't got my fluffy microphone cover on. I'm talking straight into the phone here. So let's plant some of these nasturtiums up between the rows of these broad beans here. So apparently nasturtium plants can be planted about 30 centimetres, which is about 12 inches apart. So I'm bang on there. Now all that remains is to give the nasturtiums a nice watering in. I've got a little gap there in the middle. I've got to bring a couple more from home. I have got no idea whether this is going to work, guys. But I've got nothing to lose. I'm going to give that plenty of ground cover. Those insertions should attract the black fly away from the broad beans. Let's keep my fingers crossed. Let's give them a good watering. There we go, guys. That's the main crop potato bed. I've got two rows of potatoes planted six inches deep, 24 inches apart towards the outside edges of this bed. Then I've got two rows of broad beans, nine inches apart, going down the center. And between the board broad beans in the middle, I've got nasturtiums a foot apart. And the idea of that is ground cover and to attract the black fly away from the broad beans. It could all go horribly wrong, but then again, it could all work out nice. Let's see what happens. Thanks guys, thanks for watching. See you again soon.